Hey there, fellas. Before the video starts, three of my friends will be taking over, and I will come right after they're done with their locomotives that they have to review. That's all I have to say, so, uh, start the video! Guys, for the next one we got. Hey, what are you doing here? All right, bro. I'm gonna take over now. This will hurt a lot. Wait. No. Ah! All right. Now that he's knocked out, I'm just gonna drag him away because reasons. Okay. Shut up. Be quiet. All right. Let's see what the next locomotive is. I don't get it why, but why is 77, 25, and the, the rest of the other locomotives graffiti? What the heck? Seriously, why was, why did, now I'm going to be honest here. I don't know why I'd be honest if I did this happen, but I hope they get repainted. Oh look, it's the same unit, but repainted. Yay. Oh wait, it's the same unit, but. It's missing part of its logo, but not being graffiti. Graffiti, I mean. Okay. <sighs> LLPX. What kind of patch job is that for a unit? Seriously, th this unit looks scary. It it's very scary. It looks evil, and it looks like it wants to buy itself in here or whatever. What kind of unit is this supposed to be? Oh hey, look, it's next Norfolk Southern High Hood. Hopefully nothing is. Oh. No, wait a sec. I was wrong. Something is wrong about this. Two things. One, this patch job, this patch job sucks. And two, the horse logo was missing. See, even the owner even agrees. Editor, can we get a can we get a photo of the owner agreeing with me, agreeing that it sucks in the from the Discord I I was using with him. Hey, look, it's CN's forty-seven fifteen, just normal unit as usual. <laughs> Original number is bleeding through. Whatever happened to the caddy unit that Union Pacific had? I, I kind of like it, but I also miss it at the same time. Whoa! I never seen Sandby do this kind of livery on one of their PAs. I like it, but at the same time, uh, the end almost got copyrighted for doing that one song. Uh. That's. I'm not gonna tell the editor to shut up because we made a copyright. So, yeah. Actually, I've always wondered whatever happened to the KCS hair did shoot it that KCS had. I wonder if it's still there or just repainted into a different logo. Yeah, honestly, I don't know at this point. Look, it's the Baltimore and, o and Ohio unit that CSX has. Nice paint scheme. Second. Editor, can we have all the pictures of all the CSX heritage units? Please. Thank you. 
One thing I will say about these units, they're all, all, they're all sick. That's all the units I'm reviewing, so you're free to take over the end. Okay, thanks, Kara. So before I get to review my locomotives, I'm going to have one of my friends review one locomotive. So, uh, bye. I have PG's replacement. Yo, what is that? Yep, I indeed asked him to review one. Anyways, uh, EMD. I actually kind of like this locomotive, but, uh... What is this cat? What is that cat? I honestly don't even fucking know. Vian, you do realize that this is not official. Penn Central never even had steam locomotives. Oh, it's just a normal CSX AC44. Nothing seems wrong here. Oh, wait a second. Why is the lightning bolt not aligned to the numbers? CSX... Why? So while uh, my friend Colin didn't want to review this, so, uh, BNSF? What kind of patch job is that? I mean, why'd you have to put a lazy-ass patch job on that fucking unit? Like, what the actual fuck? I mean, wasn't this Silver and Pacific coach repainted into Union Pacific colors? Eh. The Union Pacific colors really suit it well. I mean, it's just a normal BNSD 40 issue. I mean, it just randomly looks like that before, and it was sold to be in a seven and was put a, and a lazy patch job was put on it, and then after that it was sold to HLCX. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! Did CSX really have to put the zero in front of the eight hundred four? Like, what? What was CSX on? This I honestly think this is so funny. Hmm, this is rather interesting. I actually kind of like this paint scheme. Hmm, it's just a normal NSSD 40 2. But wait, doesn't that logo look a bit familiar? Oh my goodness. But, uh, the, the, that patchwork. What? Uh, uh, that. F uh, what kind of patchwork is that? Ugh. That is just disgusting. I mean, it's just a normal Metro North P32AC-DM, but something feels wrong. It's because of the paint that's chipping off. Wait a second. I have a feeling that this looks a bit familiar. Okay then, so I heard that Metro North released its fourth heritage unit, being the Penn Central Heritage Unit number 217, and to be honest, it looks really nice, but... There's one thing that seems a bit off. Why isn't the whole unit black and the pen social logos are supposed to be white? I'm extremely fucking confused. Like, what the fuck? Hmm, that's really an interesting rap. I mean, New Jersey Transit, I actually like this. It's pretty nice. Surprise, surprise. I actually seen this unit before. But to be honest, I actually like New Jersey Transit's Erie Lackawanna Heritage Unit. It actually looks pretty cool. Guess what? I've also seen this unit. And I actually like New Jersey Transit's PRR Heritage. I mean, Norfolk Southern also has one, but both units are actually cool. So, uh, this monstrosity existed. Crikey, mate! What kind of cab is that? Insert Ronnie Kontorski being here. CSX, what is with the lettering? Like... Did the- did the, Did he employees just play pin the logo? Like, what? Uh, I, I don't need- I don't know anymore, uh, uh, KCS? What the fuck's this? I mean, how are you supposed to see through the windows when the windows are painted over with, with yellow? Like, uh, uh, I don't even know. Uh, I'm about to scream right now. Uh, uh. NREX? What the fuck? This patch shop is really fucking ugly. Like, why would you put a lazy ass patch shop in this unit? You know what? Screw this. I'm going to the next locomotive. So, this is just a normal Chicago Northwestern 9. And if you look closely, the number board is off. And that literally just says walk, listen, and live instead of look, listen, and live. Chicago Northwestern. I would like to kindly ask, what are you on? I would like to kindly ask, 
why did the Toledo or Railroad Company decide to buy some SC40-2s, some SC40s, and a couple SC35s? What were they on? I mean, it's just a normal Canadian Pacific Jeevo. Nothing feels wrong, but look at the number boards. What? Uh, what kind of? I, uh, I, I don't even know. And also, why did he have to put it in front of the CSX geometry train? I'm fucking confused. Okay, something feels off. I can definitely feel it. It's because of the freaking cab door. Who fucking shot on the locomotive? Come on, fess up. You know you want to. Alright, I'm done here. I'm gonna go- I'm gonna go do some things right now. Wait a minute. What is this room? I'm gonna go check it out. Wait a minute. Carob, did you fucking kill- Oh, Colin, what the fuck?